Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, yeah! Yo, YouTube, what's going down? It's your boy Vern Barber, Knowledge 101, and I'm back. I know it's been a minute, but I ain't forget about y'all. As you can see, I got a little boy right here. He's a regular, good kid. And as you can see, I'm going to show you a quick haircut right here. I'm not even going to speed it up or nothing. I'm just going to talk right through it and, and just show you how I get down, basically. And as you can see, I'm just going against the grain. And I'm not using any guard. I'm not using any guideline or anything. It's just basic free freestyle, freehand. And again, keep in mind, you know, with a lot of cuts, you would normally go with the grain. But in my experience and cutting for a long time, if you're going to cut someone's head this short then to me it makes more sense to go against the grain you can still go um with the grain like afterwards which you may see me do just to smooth it out but with ethnic hair curly hair you know especially short and in the case of this young man his hair is very thick and so even if i went with the grain it wouldn't um get it nice and even as low as um, you know his dad wants it and so I'm going against the grain to get it nice and low nice and even You know, they're not trying to bring him back regularly So the whole point is this cut needs to last and you know afterwards I'm gonna brush brush the hair out a little bit, you know Sometimes you know a little dry scalp and things like that or the hair You know could be stuck in there in the follicles and, and kind of make it look like it's not even so sometimes you want to brush the hair out off of the head make sure it's clean um but as you can see i'm just going around taking my time using the chair let the chair do all the work for you and i'm not speeding this up i'm just it's just real time i'm cutting and obviously i know i'm recording and so i'm probably putting a little more time into this haircut than i normally would and that's not to say i, I don't give him a good haircut but i'm just trying to you know talk you guys through the cut and so i know that and so i'm cutting it a, a certain kind of way even though um you know my method and technique may be different from some especially when it comes to the fading part obviously most people may may you know start out a haircut like this if if the person wanted their hair this short again um the only thing i'm using which you know will be you know somewhat like having guards is my adjuster on these clippers these are the andy masters so i'm using that often all the time you may see my thumb moving it now i'm using the t edges with me i try to save time so as you can see i'm not even concerned with the rest of that hair around the head he gets a ball fade so we're going to be cutting that off for this particular reason again might just be because i'm trying to show you the video and, and the technique that i use i'm just getting his edge out of the way right now um you know just to almost even give me a little guideline and um if i'm not mistaken i believe i'm not even gonna use the clippers to to fade him out i'm just gonna use that t edger right there that i'm using to edge him up and i'm gonna go right ahead and just start ball fading him out with that and that's why i didn't bother wasting time cutting that hair off of the back of his head again his hair is pretty coarse it's pretty thick so it doesn't just slide right off like some some of my clients everybody's hair texture is different and so with this young man you really need to have a good set of clippers that cut very close and in the case of him he's you know he's used to the clippers when he was younger he was a little more fidgety but you know he's learning he's learning my um temperament the way i i, I use my clippers as you can see, he's kind of flinching a little bit, but he's good. He can handle it. He's a big boy. And, um, yeah, you know, again, if he'd have had waves or something like that, I would have gone with the grain. But as you can see, it's so low, you just want it to be nice and even. And you'll find if you go against the grain, you'll get it more even, especially if he has calyx or anything like that. But as you can see now, a lot of, a lot of hair still around the side of his head. I'm just focused on his edge right now. I'm trying to make that thing pop and bring it out. And I'm gonna work on the edge here a little bit because I know I'm, I'm recording. But again, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just trying to show good basic cuts, real time in the shop. You wanna be quick, 
you don't really want to waste too much time so any way you can save time you want to take advantage of that again using your chair using your tools in the case of this doesn't require much or at least not for me because his hair is so short already and I know I'm ball fading it I don't really need to use any guards even if I were to use a guard maybe you could use the number one but you don't need to in the case of this. You don't even need to do a line, a suit bowl around the head or anything, as I'm showing you right there. I'm just gonna go right in with these T edges and just start fading that out with a nice motion. This is how I fade, this is my technique. I use a nice flicking motion. It's how I've always cut and I find that it works good for me. Um, you can always go back later and make adjustments and fix things. As you can see, I'm just gonna let you watch me do my thing real quick. His hair's so short, I don't need any guards on there. I can easily just use the T edges as you are seeing me doing right now. Um, you know, and this is a technique that um, I've been doing for a long time and it can save you a lot of time and sometimes I can even do this with the hair even longer to begin with. Um, in the case of this young man, like I said before, his hair is so short already, I don't even need to really use the clippers much. I can bypass a lot of that just using these T-edges. Um, and um, it's convenient because it just takes care of most of the work already cleaning off the sides which is why I saved all that hair there to knock off later really um, you know I could have did it before but um, there's to me there's no real um, textbook way to cut in my opinion I think if you have a craft a skill and you can get the job done. You can get the haircut to look the way the client wants. Then, um, so so be it. I I don't I don't I, I don't I'm not, you know, against any real technique or style of cutting. I think everyone is always gonna have their own little way of cutting, which is why maybe people have preferences. Obviously, there is certain things that are just textbook to do that are fast methods of, of getting the results you want whether it's doing a shave or a, or a fade or a scissor cut or whatever there are textbook things you can do but at the same time like any craft or skill you find ways around it techniques you know if if you find that you're just talented like that or skillful like that you you might find your own way to do some something that no one else has done before so um, I'm not biased to that. However you cut, that's you, you know. This is the way I, I cut. And um, for me, a lot of it's about saving time. I'm trying to make as much money as possible and do the haircut as quick as I possibly can. But we're still looking good, quality, you know. I don't want it to look like I've rushed. And my haircuts don't. But I've been doing it a long time. And so I don't need to use a lot of textbook routines that you know, a lot of people use, you know, scissor over comb, or you know, using the line and then using different guards and, and fading up a little bit until you you blend out that line and then you just you know, and that's all good, you know. But bear in mind, you just wanna you wanna be efficient, you wanna move fast, you know. I don't know if you do appointments or, or walk-ins or both, however you cut, um, but still, you know. You want to be quick and, and and that's what i try to take advantage of and i'm always trying to master the technique of being fast but but quality just as good and um you know as you can see you know this kid's you know he's getting down there to the end now i'm just cleaning up the back of his neck here you know again like i said his hair's thick so i'm trying to take my time with with these T edges, as you can see right there, it, it kind of got backed up the blade. I'm, I'm kind of trying to go a little fast. These blades probably a little old too. Um, you know, the amount of haircuts that I do want, uh, you know, on them, they, they need replacing quite regularly. And the, and the fact that his hair is kind of coarse, it's very thick. I can't just run right through it like I'd like to. 
had his hair been a little bit softer, you know, the grade was, a, the texture was a little bit more um, thinner or something like that. Like I do some kids, that, that it comes off like butter, but everybody's hair is different. And so I'm taking my time as well. I'm just, you know, I, I'm aware I'm recording. Probably I might not even take as long as I'm taking on this haircut, but I'm aware that I'm recording and I want everyone to see how I cut in real time. The video's not sped up. You know, you can hear everything going on in the background. Wiping off his head here is important so you can see what you're doing. You, it, it, it's frustrating if people have anything in their hair at times. You know, I try to tell my clients don't. Don't put any products, gel or grease or anything like that in your hair if you can. Um, you know, obviously we can wash it out if it if it's bad. But you know, some of my clients they're not really trying to pay for the the shampoo, so they don't really want to hear my mouth. So always best to 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 get your clients to always have you know a nice dry, clean head. But obviously that's why you always want to use a brush and a comb so you can see what you're doing brush out any hair or existing grease on the scalp again i always say to my clients avoid that because you know you want your hair cut to look as good as it can and if you have stuff in there that's gonna you know affect my quality to make it look great amazing which i know my work is but again you got regulars they should know the routine already but um it's always good to keep brushing the hair out anyway, um, just so you can see what you're doing. You know, people's hair patterns are different. People have calyx, so you want to make sure you can see what the, what you're doing in the direction you want to cut, especially if you're cutting with the grain. But as you can see, um, you know, I have the Andes now, and I'm just touching up things, cleaning it up. And I'll go back and, you know, see things. A haircut's a lot like a, a painting, you know. I'm a I'm a drawer, an artist. I like I like to do anything with my hands. I'm 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 good at, you know. That's where my craft, my skill is. So haircutting came very easy to me because it's like drawing or shading or painting, and so that's where I find it easier for me to, I think, freestyle and, and take advantage of that element to the haircut. And um, as you can see, it's like I almost did this haircut reverse, the opposite. You know, I'm using these these clippers now, like at the end. But, um, you know, just to touch up things, as you can see, I'm just going over the the edge here with the razor blade. And again, even he's looking at me like, uh, what are you doing? Because <laughs> he knows normally I wouldn't really use a razor blade on him. And I've said in the past, I don't normally really on my kids use razor blades on them. As you'll see in a little bit, I'm going to use the Andy Masters um, like beard shaver. And you also can use it on the fade. A lot of people do. And if you've seen a lot of my tutorials, I don't use the razor much or that because I don't feel like it's always necessary. I'm trying to just do quick, basic haircuts, nothing fancy, elaborate, unless my clients request or want it, or I know they what they want. But in this video here, and even being that he's a kid, just to show you, I can use it. And um, But it's not always necessary. But if you use it, make sure you charge. Make sure you're compensated. And again, keep in mind the client's skin and uh, make sure that you know you and that person or woman know you know what what they're capable of taking on their skin because I don't use this on all my clients simply because not everyone takes well to it you don't want them to get bumps ingrown hairs things like that and so um, with him he's okay and you know his mom and the dad they, they like his hair short and as low as possible so you know it lasts at least you know a good two two three weeks tops and he'll be back. The dad comes every week. But again, it is good. It has its purposes. It gives you that really close, clean look. Um, you know, to just finish it off. Same with the razor. But it's not always necessary, in my opinion. And if you just want to save time and get your clients out of there, you know, that's what it is. I say that only because my, my, my business, I do do um, some 
appointments, but I generally just prefer walk-ins. And I'm so busy, all my regulars are walk-ins. It's first come, first serve. I knock them out, and that's how I like it. Um, I got enough business, enough clientele flowing like that. I've been cutting for years. And the environment's comfortable, and everybody's got something to do, and they're occupied, so it, it works for me. But at the end of the day, even if you do appointments, in my opinion, you still want to be quick. If you can, you know, book in appointments every 25, 30 minutes, I mean, you know, you don't want to be stretching it out too long unless you're getting compensated. So, again, the more you do, the longer it's going to take. And obviously, we all have our clients that require more time and more focus. And I would hope, just like in my case, my clients compensate me very well for my time. And even those are ones that I may make exceptions and I, you know, make my appointments for. But if not, there's other people to go to. But I'm considered more like a one-on-one -on -one with my clients. It's, it's very personal for me and there's no distractions. There's not a lot going on. You're not going to see me on the phone and talking to other barbers and whatnot. You know, my shop's not all tricked out and, you know, the focus is on my clients. I like that one-on-one -on -one consultation, you know what I'm saying, where I get to just be focused on your haircut. That's what's important, nothing else. So it's not what I want, it's what you want, and that's the mistake a lot today in the barbershop. A lot of barbers, they act like they're hearing what, what you're asking for, and as soon as you sit in the chair, you get something different, or you get what they think should, um, you know, look good for you. So, you know, there is a problem in this industry where Barbers and stylists may not follow directions, especially if they think they, you know, they got it like that or whatnot. And so I'm here to just show you good, basic, quality haircuts, nothing over the top. It's not all about these elaborate videos with all this editing and whatnot. I'm just trying to show you basic in real time. My clients are right here in the shop. There's nothing set up. It's not orchestrated for the tutorial or none of that. And so that's what I'm about. And so that's why you haven't seen me going to that extent. Obviously, the support would be great. And I would really appreciate the support. You know, I'm new to this as well. I've, I've, I've been on here for a little bit now. But I'm just trying to help other stylists and barbers out there. Maybe trying to get into this for the first time. Or, you know, have been in it for a while like me. And you're always trying to learn. There's always new stuff, new techniques to learn. I'm still always learning, but if you could show me support, I'd appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. Any, you know, comments you want to leave, you know, leave me any feedback, you know, I'd appreciate it. You know, if you have any questions, any, you know, any advice you want, you know, anything about this business. I've been doing this for about 20 years. And so, you know, I really appreciate you guys listening to me and taking the time if you've made it this far in the video. I'm just going to let y'all just watch the rest of this video to the end. And uh, like I said, please subscribe, show some love. I really appreciate it. It's your boy, Vern, Barber Knowledge 101. Till next time, y'all. Peace. <laughs>